Hello, my name is Darren Thomas. I'm the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to learn about how to vectorize functions. Vectorizing is a technique that is used in computer programming languages that allows you to calculate almost an infinite number of values simultaneously. It is very commonly used in uh, different languages like I just mentioned and it's also a feature of the R programming language. So what we're going to do here is that first I'm going to walk you through a function that we created in a prior video that I've modified a little bit. I'm going to show you the problem with this particular type of function and I'm going to show you the blessings of vectorization through the use of the if, el if else function. So as you can see here we have our function called taxi calc and if you haven't seen prior videos what this function allows you to do is that it allows you to calculate how much a taxi driver should be paid based on how many miles the, the, the driver drove. So if you look in line number one here at the top, you know, we have our arguments, miles and CPM. Miles is how far the, the driver drove the taxi and CPM stands for, you know, cost per mile. So you pay $1.20 per mile. And in line two, what the first thing that the function does is that it multiplies the miles that the driver drove by the cost per mile. And that becomes our net cost. However, it gets a little bit more complicated after that because I guess, you know, we're having a sale when it comes to driving. If the taxi driver drove more than five miles, the person gets a 15% discount. So we take the net cost multiplied by 0.85 to get the total cost. However, if the driver drove less than five miles, they only get a 5% discount. And so what happens is that the final value is returned here and it's spit out at the bottom. So, um, let me just show you how this works. I'm sure you've seen this before, but just so you know, so let's if I put in the value four here, I get 4.56. So we know the function works. Now there's a there's one problem. This function works great if I only put one value into the function. But what if I want to put in several, you know, several hundred values or several thousand values or whatever? I start to have problems. So let me modify the last uh, input that I put into R here. I just do four and you know five using the concatenate function. I get this error message. And if miles greater than five, the condition has length greater than one, and only the first element will be used. So what is R is telling me is that hey, you put in more than one value, but we're only going to give you the results for the first value. That's what it's trying to tell me. In other words, I cannot put in two different values into two, into my taxi count function at the same time. I have to. Uh, find a way to modify my code so that I can put in several values at once. So what I'm going to show you now is something called the if-else statement. Um, our function, excuse me. And what the if-else function does is that, hey, whenever this happens, does this, do this. Whenever that happens, do that. And what it does is that it helps to summarize and reduce your code and it also allows for vectorization. Now it's very difficult to talk about these abstract things like coding. So I just want to show you the actual example and it'll make much more sense. So right now I'm putting in some of the information from the last function that we made because this information is not going to change. All right. So this should all be familiar right here, but I put it on line number one. And then of course, when I'm putting on line number two should also be familiar. I'm just taking my, my net cost will be miles times CPM. And then we're going to do total cost. Whoops. Then we're going to do total cost. Now, this is where it gets new here. Total cost will be defined as net cost multiply. And now here we're going to do the if else. If else, then we're going to take miles greater than 5, comma, 0 0.85, comma, 0 0.95. Now, what this is saying is that, okay, R. If miles right here, if they're greater than five miles, multiply by 0 0.85 else or otherwise multiply by 0 0.95. Now, I just want to look at the last piece of code. Notice how here we kind of had two different little indentations here. We had the total cost and then the else statement and the total cost again. With the if else function, you can summarize everything in one little convenient block of code right there as you can see. And so again, it's more efficient and also it will allow you to do more than one, um, one value at a time inside your function. All right, then I put my return dot total cost dot cost. And so everything should be all set up. 
Now, if you remember this value that I put here at the bottom again, I put this in previously, I got the warning message. If everything worked correctly, I should get two values now. And you can see, now instead of getting a warning message, I now got two different values for the two numbers that I put into my taxi count function. And that's the power of if else statements, or if else function, excuse me. They allow you to have more than one value as an input into your function, thus allowing you to do what they call vectorization. All right, so in this video today, we learned about how to vectorize a function through the use of the if else function. The if else function, like I just mentioned, it makes it very, very clear what to do. As you can see in line three, given a, a, spe a specific if then statement, it either does you know, the true or the false um, output, depending on what's happening there, and it allows you to run many values inside a particular function rather than just one at a time. So we want to thank you for listening, and you take care.